Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. This is a video that you came up with. I did. Like a couple days ago, because she asked me the question, what do you think are the best fish that every fish keeper should have at least once in their lifetime? And so we thought about it. We actually had a very large list. So this may have to actually be split up into multiple parts, but for today's video, we're coming up with 10 fish that we think you should absolutely try at some point in your fish keeping careers. Hope you enjoy the video. I think we should start off this list with the smallest, and that would be my pick. My pick would be the Celestial Pearl Daniel, otherwise known as the CPD or the Galaxy Rasbora. It's got a great, great little color and great temperament. And we've had this, my favorite ones, well, my 14 gallon bow front. We had this fish in there and it was really, really beautiful. We also had it in a 29 gallon right here and we had them really packed in for a very short amount of time and boy, was, was that a lot of color and just a lot of interest in the tank. They have great temperament, very peaceful, but they're just a really fun little fish and everybody, everybody loves them. Whoever's had them, always loves them. And the other cool thing about them too is they tend to stick together, as you can see from the 29 gallon. Great fish. By the way, before I forget, we have species profiles. If you want to learn more about how to keep these fish, how to care for them, how to give them the best possible life, check out the description below and we'll put them periodically in the upper right hand corner if you want to learn a lot more about the fish that we're mentioning in this video. Now this next fish, again we're saying we're going to go small to larger. This next one I think a lot of people overlook and that's why it wound up on this list and I talk about it all the time and that is the Brilliant Green Rasbora. The reason I think it's such a cool fish and one if you've never tried it you absolutely should is one they're one of the more tightly schooling fish that I've had. It is a Rasbora but it's a larger one and so this particular uh, Rasbora will get to be about almost two inches in length great color you see that nice beautiful green and the red and you can see them here in this 29 gallon and they just absolutely pops in this tank get a big group of them if you can put them in at least a 20 long or a 29 or larger with a giant group i love these fish because they're also very peaceful and so they do really great in that community tank highly recommend if you've never tried them give them a try my next pick i'm going to call it my pick because it is one of my favorites I don't currently have them, but I've had them in the past, and boy, were they a lot of fun. It's the pea puffer. Pea puffers are adorable. You will get so much happiness and joy from watching these cute little fish. They have a completely unique swimming pattern. Eyeballs go different directions. They kind of hover like a little helicopter all over the tank. Their, their little colorations are just amazing and they're just super super tiny. I love them. I had them here in the 12 gallon uh, bookshelf tank. Loved them. Had them with a whole bunch of other nano fish like the uh, lamp eyes. Had them with some sparkling grammies. They all got along great. Really a, an absolutely adorable little fish. And I think what's so cool about the pea puffer is a lot of very small fish Let's face it, they don't have the best personalities in the world. What I mean by that is they're not necessarily fish that are gonna come up to the tank and recognize you. Pea puffers will do that. Mm, Pea puffers look like they're always thinking, which makes them pretty cool. And one you should definitely think about keeping if you haven't done so already. Now, this next one is one that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. If you've been watching the channel for any length of time, it is a must if you haven't kept them before, if you have the water parameters for them, and that is the shell dwellers, particularly the Maltese. These fish, we've shown them off a number of times. We've done species profiles, we've done tank updates. Right now we have them in two different tanks just so that we always have them in the fish room. These are great fish. They're small, which means you can get away with a 20 gallon or larger. They love to breed, which is pretty cool. You get to see the little tiny babies peeking their head out of shells. They are shell dwellers, as I mentioned, so they have a unique way of living. They're gonna rearrange your tank, which is also pretty interesting. So if you have your heart set on a certain hardscape, don't. Let them just do what they do. The community dynamics on these fish are absolutely awesome. And what you're seeing here are two different tanks. We have our 50 gallon low boy. Now this tank is only four feet long. It's 24 inches wide, but only 10 inches tall. And there have been at times hundreds and hundreds of Maltese in that tank. And then we also have the 40 gallon breeder of which again, we've got lots and lots of them there. 
but they are a type of fish, a small fish that can give you hours of enjoyment just by watching their silly antics. And one of my favorite things about them, well, I have two. One is their beautiful blue eyes, and two, they are one of the easiest fish to photograph. They sure are because they just stay there. Hey, they just stay there. Me. They guard their, their shell and they just pose. The next fish that you should absolutely consider trying is the peacock gudgeon. Now, personally, this took me a little while to acquire a taste for these fish, but I love them now. They have a completely different little kind of head shape. Their patterning is just gorgeous. So many different colors packed into a little tiny body. You can really add a large number of these in a tank. It's actually better to keep them in a large group. It kind of reduces the aggression. And they just, they have really kind of funny antics. They're always like kind of squirming around the bottom. And they're just an absolutely stunning little fish. And the other thing is we have actually bred thousands of peacock gudgeons. My biggest regret is not keeping that colony going. <laughs> but they are absolutely amazing fish. Like you said, a lot of color and a small package. Great for a, a 10 gallon, 20 gallon, if you wanna keep multiples together. Some of the 20 gallon longs that we've had, we've actually had dozens of them in that tank because they kept breeding and we kept having babies in there. And it was really just an absolutely amazing fish. So a lot of the fish we just mentioned are smaller fish. They can fit into the smaller tanks. But I want to venture off into some of the larger must-have fish if you've got the tanks for them. And this first one of the larger side, it kind of reminds me of a peacock gudgeon. This is the purple spot goby. Now these are larger gudgeon goby type fish, true freshwater gobies. We've got them actually right behind us here in this 50 gallon low boy. We had a group, we have a group of five of them. Now these are larger fish. They're going to get somewhere around five or six inches and they're gonna be wider bodied and they will eat small fish. So you have to be careful there, but they are very goofy fish. And in some ways they kind of act like cichlids when it's time to eat, they get really excited and they wiggle around. They will recognize you, but they will also be very still sometimes, and yeah. that makes for some really good pictures as well. But the <laughs> coloration is very much peacock gudgeon-like, but in a much larger package. Interesting fish, if you can come across them, they're not super common like some of the other ones we're talking about here, but definitely worth adding to the bucket list. Now this next one, I really do believe, actually deserves a lot of respect, and you should also consider keeping at least one in your lifetime, and that would be the geophagus. There are so many different kinds. My personal favorite is our flagship fish, and he's the one on our logo. It's the Geophagus altifrons. We have one, he's, here he is, King George, that's his name, and he is a stunner. You can't go wrong with any kind of them, but they're, they're just, you can't beat the color and the fins, it's just, they're just absolutely stunning fish. And we have kept many different types, and all of them, eventually show great color. And I say eventually because if you get them small, you do have to have patience. The Geophagus altifrons that you're looking at here, this took many, many, many years for it to get to this size and have the trailers on the fins, but you can't go wrong with the altifrons. Geophagus tahapahos is an amazing fish. We've had lots of other different types. Great fish, provided that you have the tank size for them. Usually about a four foot tank or so is gonna be sufficient for most. Absolutely amazing color, great personality. Now this next one, you do have to have a large tank, but it is a fish, I think every fish keeper, if they can provide that larger tank, you gotta try it. And that's the Oscar. I don't think we can do a top 10 fish every fish keeper should keep without mentioning the Oscar. If you're looking for a fish with quite possibly the ultimate personality. So I would yeah. consider the Geophagus we just mentioned to be my favorite of this group. But the Oscar is definitely the fish on this list that has by far the most personality. Big fish, there is no doubt that you're gonna look at full grown Oscars, 13, 14, I've seen them, 14 inches. They get big body, they have a big appetite with a big mouth, but boy, are they goofy. They always look like they're about to do something silly. Our Oscars sometimes would throw a fit if we rearranged something in the tank, they would literally lay down on their side. Just lay there. First couple times they did that, I thought they were dead. And they'd pop up like, what, what are you looking at? Uh, when they eat, it's always an exciting thing, but if you've got the space, again, I can't say it enough, an Oscar is definitely worth a try. That being said, please understand that, especially when we're getting in these larger cichlids, this is a long-term commitment that's going to require space and money and time. And it's not a fish that if you get sick of in four or five years that you can easily get rid of. This is a fish that's gonna be with you for 10 years or more. 
Now while we're talking about larger fish, you absolutely can't deny the Sevrum will give you maximum color and also fun personality. Some of my favorites we've had in the past, we've had the red shoulder. Absolutely love the red spot gold, current favorite. His name is Crush. He's a, he's a friendly, fun-loving guy. And they're just, the way they just kind of float around the tank and quite possibly rule the tank. If you have a large enough tank for it, highly recommend you try one of these out. Now, one thing to consider, if you're a plant lover, you probably won't mix well or your, your plants won't mix well at the Severums. Ours have pretty much eaten every green type of plant yep. or food we have put in the tank. But again, this is a larger fish. If you've got the space for it, these are definitely more of an elegant fish, more graceful than maybe an Oscar, but still absolutely worth the time with those tremendous colors. And the last one on this list, another really goofy fish. Now this goofy fish is going to be the most goofy and the most comfortable in a larger group. That's the clown loach. Highly recommend if you have the space. The clown loach is an absolutely amazing fish. Not only does it have great color with the orange and the black, which makes it so very popular, they can get large up to a foot long. And I have seen them that large before. They don't tend to grow extremely fast, but it is a fish that you're gonna need a larger tank for and definitely a fish you're gonna to wanna to keep in a group. Now, what's so cool about these fish is their antics. They are silly fish. They're always looking like they're playing. This is another fish where don't freak out when you see it laying on its side. They will often do that, at least in our fish room. It is very common to see the clown loaches just kind of laying down on their side, taking a nap, and then you look at them, they get up and be like, what, what are you looking at? Absolutely wonderful fish, great fish if you want some silly antics in a group. So that is our list of 10 must-have fish. Let us know in the comments below. Do you agree with any of these? Are there any that you think absolutely must make this list that we forgot about? Let us know. That and don't forget, in the description below, we've got all the species profiles for the fish that we mentioned in this video. Really appreciate you being here, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.